Hey family, thought I'd just take a second to rap to you just for a minute. Man, I tell you, we're living in some wild times. We're living in times that were prophesied by the word of God. And there is just no hiding a lot of the deception that we've been subject to for the past two or three years or so. I'm finding out that this thing right here wasn't effective. As a matter of fact, more destructive than effective. We're finding out that we've just been deceived. Every opportunity is an opportunity to dig into the the money that you and I as taxpayers pay into to where we're depleted to the point where we don't know if we'll even be able to defend ourselves should something go down involving us directly on this soil. Just being straight raped. I'm just saying. Looking at Israel as Israel is the barometer for um, end times prophecy. We're looking at them being surrounded by enemies. We're looking at us. We're being surrounded by enemies, have vessels on every shore, including Alaska, had something to fly over our country, taking pictures, or, or that's what we were told was taking pictures, but it could have been so much more. You know, we are being hoodwinked and we're sitting here asleep at the wheel not realizing the ramifications of what's going on. Our money's not going as far as it used to because of decisions that are being made up top without the people's knowledge. Just the most amazing things, but God's promises are true. He promised that in the last times there would be earthquakes in diverse places. Look what happened over in the Middle East. I mean, a huge one, one, that was felt in Israel, all the way from Turkey. Wow, you talk about a massive, a massive event. Only, this is biblical proportions. You know, we're looking at natural disasters all over the country, all over the world. We're looking at wars breaking out, wars that most of us don't even know are happening. It's time to wake up because Jesus will crack that sky. I'm looking at an exorbitant amount of rapture dreams. The Bible says in the last days, God would pour out his spirit upon all flesh and that people would be seeing, you know, visions and having dreams and prophesying. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing an increased volume of these things. And everybody's not wrong. I'm just saying it's time to look up. Because our redemption is drawn nigh. There, there are so many dreams out there. I'm sure some of them are just for, for attention. But I believe that for the most part, people are having dreams, seeing visions. And just common sense tells us what's at the end of the road that we are going down. At the end of that road, I do believe is the great tribulation and us as a body will be going home in the rapture. I honestly believe that. I feel it in my spirit. I'm anxious, it seems, every day. Um, I'm caring about things that I've never cared about before. The Holy Spirit is really dealing with me on a number of things. If you're feeling the same way, man, hit me up in the comments section. And um, man, we got to get this thing together because Jesus is coming back real soon. He tells us that he's preparing us, that chosen generation, and that we wouldn't suffer the things, his wrath, those things that are about to come up on the earth. So get ready, get your houses in order. Let's get rid of the I's, the me's, and I'ms, and get rid of the me, me, me's, and let's start caring about one another. Let's start preaching the gospel to everyone that we come in contact with, it's important. You know, I was looking at an article and, you know, one of the last things that 
needs to happen before Christ comes to get the church is that the gospel would be preached all around the world. And I was looking at an article and um, I can't tell you verbatim what it said, but what it said in summary is that even underdeveloped countries have access to the word of God. You've got people that are still living in primitive conditions without running water or electricity, but they have cell phones and they have a means to, to get it charged. That means that they have a means to get the word. Then you've got missionaries going out in droves to preach this gospel, obedient to what God told us to do. So time is winding up. Don't count on what you can't see. Ask the Lord what the temperature is outside and know that we are in the throes of the end, I believe. And so some might think I'm crazy, but I've lived 50, this is my 57th year. I've lived long enough to know that this can't go on much longer. Give your lives to Christ if you haven't already, because a second after the rapture, it's going to be hell opened up onto the earth. We definitely don't want to be left down here. Should Christ crack that sky and come get those who left him? Live for the Lord today. Let's stop sleepwalking. Let's look at the signs. Let's all become watchmen that we might be able to judge the end of the church age. We're in that season. Look up, be encouraged because it could happen any moment now. And so I love y'all. Just a moment to tell you what's on my heart. And I hope you get this. I hope you get it. Get it now. Get it while the getting is good because when the getting is gone, there ain't going to be nothing to get. So I love y'all. And um, yeah, until next time, we'll see you on the radio.